Mm-hmm. Second chance romance. Fine in love. Probably that not. That's not what we're doing at oh, all. She's, she's just being positive. Oh. Answers. Yeah. Holly, who uh, who do we have? Hold on, let me take a sip of my Atlanta first. Okay, and then perfect. We have Alyssa on the line. Right. Okay. Hi, Alyssa. Good morning. morning. How you doing? Uh, I could be better. <laughs> yeah, okay. we well, we're about the same. Yeah. Um, Alyssa, thank you for doing this. Thank you for calling into our uh, this is a goofy segment. You went out with a guy named Nate, right? I did. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and tell us about your date, if you would. Well, I, I, I'm glad that you guys have this, too, because I don't know how else I would be able to do this. Um, yeah. I'd love to reconnect with Nate <laughs> because he's, I haven't gotten back. He hasn't gotten back to me since our first date. Um, I really think he's great. Uh, I'd like to know more about him. Uh, I mean, I, I usually use a typical like dating service to find men to date. So I just, I just haven't been getting any success with that method. And I decided to sign up for match.com because all my friends have had a lot of success and I just decided to take fate into my own hands. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I got don't, some, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I got some specific criteria for who I want, you know, to, to date and I'm I'm in my mid to late thirties, so I <laughs> I've had some experiences. Uh, needless to say, Nate scored pretty much in all departments when we matched. And yeah, I mean, he's handsome, he's educated, he's family oriented, he's everything that I, I just he's just everything. <laughs> so all right, that's where we're at. Good departments, yeah, good departments. But uh, we're talking about the department of first dates here, Alyssa. So. Assuming that you went on a date, what did you guys do? We did. We we ended up meeting for breakfast. I like to keep the first dates in the mornings or afternoon <laughs> because I've, like I said, done the whole romance thing before. But I'm I'm looking for a partner, and honestly, I think breakfast is more revealing. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean that. Well, we ended up doing that. And- that's pretty much, I mean, we hit it off. We had a lot of things initially I saw it in common, uh, but you know, sometimes making that first connection can be tough. Mm -hmm. Right. So Alyssa, we're going to ask you to look inside yourself in this moment. Was there anything on the, (laughs) on the date that Mm -hmm. maybe was a red flag, even could be a beige flag, something that you're looking back on the state and like, geez, okay. So Nate's not getting back to me. It, could there be a reason why? You know, I'm really trying to think. And like I said, I mean, on first dates, I'm not looking for anything hardcore, like romance or anything. I honestly, I'm at the point in my life where getting hot and heavy isn't essential. Mm. But I think we have potential. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I, nothing happened that I could pinpoint anything to. I know you have to ask that. Um, Hmm. But I, like I said, I don't want to miss out on anything. So he he hasn't gotten back to me. And I recognize the whole ghosting situation. You know, I'm not naive. Right. Uh, yeah. Do you think that could be kind of like I a would, friend zone type of th- situation? Was there leaning in? Was there some like, you know, kind of like googly eyes or a little pat on the back or a hug at the end? Oh, yeah. The reassuring pat is you a know, sign yeah. of a friend zone. I guess. Oh, my God. I got a pat. Is that is that? Uh, is that bad? I, you know, like I said, breakfast is, 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 it is different. So sure. We don't, we didn't do mimosas. Um, I felt we, we, the top, I mean, our conversation was all over the place. We could, it just felt like we knew each other. And so I, I felt completely at ease and at home. And so that's why I just, this is kind of throw me for a loop. Yeah. Well, we're here to help. We are. Alyssa, we're going to put you on hold now. We're going to put you on hold. You're going to be able to hear everything. Dude is on the other line. He's on hold, but he's heard nothing. Um, He he just thinks he was nominated by a friend or a family member to be part of our goofy dating segment. Like a so but he doesn't know it's about him. 
He certainly doesn't know it's about you, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get to hold, the bottom of this then. Let's, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we try to I'm do. Scared. Are you scared oh. right now? Are we scared? I, don't, I um, feel like it's one thing or the other. Extreme friend zone. Yeah. Or he was extremely horny. Oh. And was like, I'm not going to get laid today. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see. Some after omelet sex, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, to some Eric Carmen. Like the worst thing ever. The worst <laughs> after Lex. Okay. Ever. Lex after again. Omelet. Okay, Alexis. <laughs> um, once again, <laughs> your name is on the show. You, we co-signed the mortgage. Um, you uh, just never, ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever say after omelet sex again. How about some after omelet sex? These eggs were scrambled real good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, okay, let's anyway, talk to Nate. Let's get, let's get Nate on. <laughs> oh my God, this was great. After omelet sex. Hi, Nate. Hey there. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm well. Hey. Nate, thank you for doing this. You're live right now on our show. This is Jason and Alexis in the morning. And our boss forces us to do this ridiculous dating segment called Second Chance Romance. So thank you. We know that this is not usual for you. I'm sure you're not usually on a radio show on a Tuesday morning. Um, here's a little bit of a surprise for you. And, and don't, don't be mad or, or don't hang up. You were nominated for a reason, my friend. Uh, to be on the show. Somebody that has gone out with you wants a reunion. But it's a good reunion. They were they sent us an email, very complimentary, and it's Alyssa. Uh, Do you remember going out with her? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, yes, I, I do. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Well, Nate, can I ask you, it is our understanding that after the initial date, there was nothing. There wasn't anything after. Uh, can we ask you, A, if that's true, and B, was if so, if, is there a reason why there was nothing after the first date? Uh, you, it is true what you just said. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'll just, I'll say mm. that we're we're not compatible. That's what I'll say. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm. And for any specific reason? Yeah, was it like your star signs were off? Like she, you know, you're a Virgo, she's a Pisces or something? <laughs> I, I don't really prescribe to the horoscopes, but I, I guess I'll just tell it like it is. Uh, if we met for breakfast. I I ordered you know, a, a usual breakfast, but but Alyssa, she just ordered toast, which is fine. It was a light breakfast, that's fine. Uh, but then she did something really Oh, weird to me. Uh, she she ate all the jam packets that were sitting on the table, and she didn't put any of it on the toast. Just ate the jam by itself, and then oh, and then oh, this was kind of strange too. She the the creamers that were sitting on the table. She didn't put any of it in her coffee. She just opened them up and drank the half and half containers. <laughs> didn't put it in her coffee at all. Wow. Okay. Our boss used to do that, but with cream cheese in our cafeteria. No, well, and she yeah, would free put saltines. No, she take the saltines. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and yeah. then she put butter. That's on right the on the saltines, yeah. and that was her lunch. <laughs> was, whatever was free that day. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> Nate. Um. Yeah. Anyway, and and old girl had money, but yeah. Anyway. Um. She she had money. I. Uh, she. Yeah. Anyway. Nate. Here's the deal, my friend. We're gonna be honest with you. Alyssa's actually on the other line. She's heard this. She really wanted to reconnect. We wanted to try to help at the very least get answers. You just provided one. Yeah. Let's go I ahead and put a deal breaker or not. Ultimately. Yeah. Uh, Holly, let's put Alyssa up and try to figure this out. Yeah, what color flag is this? Hi, Alyssa. You heard what Nate said. What do you want to say? Hi, Nate. Um, I don't know. I this isn't think embarrassing was... at all, is it? Yeah. What? No, I don't think this is embarrassing. <laughs> like, I liked you, Nate. You never got back to me, so now I want to know why and give another chance. 
okay. Alyssa, you've got a lot of positive attributes about yourself. You're a nice person. Clearly, clearly your person knows what they want. But I'm just, I'm, I'm really concerned about your lack of self awareness in both, both for eating all those smuckers from the table and for using a radio show to, to find a relative stranger that you went out with once. Uh, I thought that this public aspect of all of this would get your attention. That's the whole point. Well, not in a good way. Oh, I mean, do you know that you eat all the jam and the cream at the table, Alyssa? Or is it is that like a nervous tick of yours or something? Or it, it is it is a nervous tick of okay. I've uh-huh. had that so this might said. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just wondering. I'm We're trying not, to get to I know. Else, What's I that? felt like I was at home, and and he said, "Go ahead." We both could be ourselves. I mean, he couldn't stop tapping the fork on him. You know, like there was little things that he did too, but I didn't even think that it was mm. that big of a deal. Right. Oh, okay. So, um, who's turn is it? It's not mine. It's, it's, it's Holly's. Yeah, short oh, term. Okay. Yeah, Holly. Great. Here we go, Alyssa, Nate. This is second chance romance. We call it that for a reason because we want to give you a second chance. Now, would you be open to a second date? A date filled with self-awareness and a lack of condiments on the table. (laughs) You know, and just see, hey, you know what? Maybe you got off on the wrong foot. What do you say? It'll be on us. I bet that's very kind of you. I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pass. I mean, this this would be like if I drank the ketchup or something. Alyssa, I'm I'm sure you can find someone who will embrace your interesting eating habits, but I can't be that guy. Guys. Got it. Not that guy. Alyssa, thank you. Nate, thank you. Sorry to bother both. Oh, Nate, sorry to bother you. And then Alyssa, thanks for being a good sport. We at the very least got an answer, okay? Yeah. Glad I can move on from this one. Thank you. Yeah, we are too for you, sweetie. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. Thank you. If you could taste time, caring, dedication. If you could taste the sun, Rain, fresh air. If you could taste tradition and pride, this is what it would taste like every time. With a name like Smuckers, it has to be good. <laughs> <laughs>